hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to cover an important topic that is test case review process so this is an important phase in testing life cycle guys important process in testing life cycle so today we are going to talk about what you mean by test case review process and why do we do test case review process and what are the different types of reviews and at last we'll talk about like what are the problems which we can find while doing the review process or what are the mistakes which we can find during review process and how to rectify them and how we can improve our testing process so let's get started so test case review process is an important process to follow in software testing test case should be effective and also follow the standards to write the test cases so whenever we write the test cases guys it should be effective it should be effective enough to find more number of defects and also we should follow the standards the standards is nothing but we should follow the proper naming convention while writing the test cases we should follow the templates provided by the company and uh, the steps should be very much clear so that anyone can understand that after preparation of the test cases a review or conducted to ensure the completeness and correctness of the test cases proper flow and maximum test coverage so these are the points which we uh, which are taken care while doing the uh, review process so it should be prop uh, the test cases should be completed properly and correctness so uh, we should write the correct test cases right so we need to check whether it is correct or not like the steps are properly written or not of the test cases proper workflow proper flow so let's say we are testing any functionality and uh, uh, the we need to check the proper workflow of the that particular functionality so that is written or not we need to check while doing the test case review process and maximum test coverage so whether we have covered all the functionalities or not as part of test case review process so these are the points which we uh, are, which are taken care while doing the test case review process the test lead or project manager have to approve the test cases once review is done then test lead or project manager approves the test cases during this review process if the reviewer find any mistakes he sh he or she writes in a separate document which is known as review document which is known as review document and send it back to the author so guys we have a separate review document as well where we'll write uh, what are the review points or in some templates in the test case itself uh, remarks column is there or comments column is there comments uh, review comments column so we'll put our comments there whoever uh, reviewing the test cases and we will send it back to the author of the test cases who will uh, again work on uh, whatever points we have mentioned in the review document now let's talk about test case review techniques or what are the uh, different types of uh, test case review process right so the first one is self review this is carried out by the tester who wrote the test cases by looking at the srs or frd uh, software requirement specification or functional requirement document he or she can uh, see if all the requirements are met or not so self review whenever we return the test cases guys even we do the review process so that is nothing but self review process who return the test cases will do the self review whether we have covered all the points from brd or not whether we have covered all the scenarios and we have properly converted them into the test cases so that is nothing but the self review process another one is peer review so uh, before test lead before a uh, test before test lead the test cases reviewed by another team member who is not familiar with the system is called peer review maker and checker are other names of the same thing so let's say uh, tester we have couple of tester tester a and tester b and this is working on module x and this is working on module y so a is not aware of mo uh, what module y and b tester tester b is not aware of module x but whenever we write the test cases it if tester a writes the test cases it will be reviewed by tester b and uh, tester b uh, who uh, uh, whatever test cases he has written it will be reviewed by tester a so like that is nothing but because these two guys are at the same level so that is what we call it as peer review 
and later on it will be uh, reviewed by the test lead or test manager maker uh, we used to call it as maker and checker are the other two names for the same thing like peer review and third one is supervisory review this is done by a uh, by a team lead or project manager who is higher in rank than the tester who wrote the test cases and has an extensive understanding of the requirements and system so generally what happens guys most of the cases uh, we follow these two process like self review and peer review these are the mandatory uh, process which we we used to follow like always we used to do self review and later on peer review and sometimes it is reviewed by uh, test lead or test manager as well in some cases so that is not mandatory but uh, in some cases it is reviewed by the lead as well so this is about test case review techniques guys now what are the common mistakes which are checked during test case uh, review process okay so incomplete test case missing negative test cases no test data inappropriate or incorrect test data so these are the points which we test uh, which we review while doing the test case review process incomplete test cases if test cases are not written properly missing negative scenarios or negative test cases if test data are not provided or in appropriate test data or incorrect test data right so these are the different points which we uh, which are taken care during the test case review process spelling errors can sometimes cause a lot of confusion or make a uh, statement difficult to grasp so this is another point uh, which which can be checked during the test case review process spelling errors can be sometimes can sometimes cause a lot of confusions right while review process it is very important to check whether all the standards and guidelines are properly followed or not so what do you mean by standards whether we have written with the proper naming convention whether we have used the right template or not uh, the right version of the template and some uh, guidelines the testing uh, uh, test case written guidelines whether we have followed all those or not so that is done during the review process if proper template is followed then it becomes easy to add modify test cases in future and test case plan looks organized correct this is what i have uh, talked about if the grammar is incorrect the test case can be misinterpreted right leading to incorrect findings and another thing is test cases should should have a very simple language which is easy to understand so which should be very uh, very much easy to understand by by another tester who is who doesn't know the functionality of this test cases right or this functionality uh, whatever we have written the test cases so it should be very much clear the step by step uh, you should write the test cases replication it refers to the uh, duplicate test cases removal it is possible that two or more test cases test the same thing and can be merged into one this would save time and space so we should al always check whether uh, uh, in case of any duplication in the test cases so this is also uh, uh, done while doing the review process this can be also checked while doing the review process test case which are useless uselessness due to change in requirements or some modifications such test cases must be removed if some test cases are useless or uh, uh, change in requirements if if it is not updated as per the requirements so those uh, test cases uh, should be modified or can be removed from the test cases template so guys as a tester when we write the test cases once authoring of the test cases is completed then we do self review and once self review is done then we go for peer review of our test cases once peer review is done then we go for supervisory review which is usually done by test lead or test manager and once uh, that review process is done they will approve the test cases test lead or test manager will approve the test cases now we got the final version of our test cases correct which is approved version now that should be stored or placed or you can say you that can be uploaded to a, a repository that is nothing but test case repository that is called test case repository it could be your uh, sharepoint which is provided by a uh, company which you have access or it could be 
uh, SVN or it could be any share folder okay so any kind of a configuration management tools or it could be a project management tool like Jira so today we will discuss about what you mean by test case repository guys so let's get it started so a test case repository is a centralized location centralized so that all the team members can access who whoever has access can get the test cases from that repository where all the baseline test cases baseline is nothing but whatever test cases are approved it's not about just test cases all the approved documents should be placed in repository or centralized location test repository comprises test cases that encompass all key possibilities of permutations and combinations in workflow execution and transaction ensuring that all variants in system all variations in system and user interactions are covered so basically the meaning of this line is this point is all the functionalities whatever cover we have covered whatever test cases we have written should be placed in a repository called test case repository a test case repository is used to store approved test cases only this is what we have discussed at the beginning any test engineer wants to test the application then he or she needs to access the test cases only from that test case repository so let's say if tester a has written the test cases and b is going to execute the test cases so he will access the repository and get the test cases from there uh, which is up, which are approved ones okay and then he can execute the test cases if we do not require any test cases we can drop them from the test case repository if some test cases are useless or that is not in use then we can drop from the repositories each version have a separate test cases repository so we should have uh, we should properly maintained in repository guys all the versions of the test cases so this is about test case repository guys So if you have any comments then please write in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.